I've been having fun with a little known AI app lately. It lets you build any application you want and it runs in its own browser ecosystem. It's called WebSim and it's made a video streaming app, all kinds of video games and other websites, all from natural language prompting. And it's really gotten good because it's powered by the recent release of Claude 3.5 Sonnet and it's awesome coding capabilities. But as interesting as those examples are, this channel is all about AI for business. So I want to see if WebSim can be useful for those kind of use cases. So let's jump right in. This is WebSim.ai and I'll put the link in the description Description. I should mention at the start, it's totally free to use. I just log in with my Gmail account. And I'll show you all the popular simulations other people have built, so you can look through those as well for inspiration. So let's just start our own though. So I love me a good pretzel. Let's pretend we're gonna start up a new pretzel company in Seattle, Washington. So at the top, it has what looks like a browser bar. If you click on that, you can actually just tell it what to create. So I'm just gonna say, create an employee handbook for my artisan pretzel company and have links to expand in all the sections. I'll show you why that's cool in a second. And then you can actually choose the model. And so you could take GPT-40, but I always take Sonnet 3.5. It's really the best right now. And it's really what made this so good. And now it's taken that prompt and it's actually produced this handbook. And then it runs it in this own browser that inside WebSim. And you also have the option with a three dot menu here to download it. And then it just downloads an HTML file for you. So you can actually just take this and host it anywhere you want. But what I really like about this thing is if you click on any of these, let's say we want work hours and schedules. It's gonna out on the fly, send that prompt to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and actually build a website. It's almost like those choose your own adventure books. It's really fun actually. So at the end of this, it says, please yours is our employee portal. So if we click on that, let's see if it actually builds the one for us. Okay, so there you go. It actually built a little portal and I'm assuming we could log in. Let's just try. I just find this so cool how you can just drill through and actually builds you things on the fly. Like it's built us an employee portal now. So we could take this concepts what we see in here and actually build it for real. Obviously there's more work to do, add it back in, have real authentication. But I was actually pleasantly surprised on how useful this would be if you were actually starting this business. So another idea I had was, let's see if this thing can create a quiz for us. Because people love quizzes. So if you have a business or a newsletter or something, you can, and you can give an interesting quiz with it, that might be a really good way to get some new customers in. So let's say create a quiz about pop culture in 2023 and 2024. Because this new Claude 3.5 Sonnet model is up to date till fairly recently. So it should have some good questions on modern events. And then we'll say relate some of the questions to coffee and advertise Cool Beans coffee roasters. It's actually exciting to watch it build this stuff. All right, well actually these are very good questions actually. I don't even know if I know the answer to this. What coffee trend took social media by storm in early 2024? I've been hearing a lot about people just putting butter in their coffee. Let's see if that's the answer. I was So I was totally wrong. It was mushroom coffee, not butter coffee. I thought I heard about butter coffee long before that, so I should have known. But the really cool thing is it took those instructions I had in the original prompt and put those into the answer to give us a nice little advertisement here for Cool Beans Coffee Roasters. And even had the idea to put in quiz time for 10% off your first order. So again, I'm kind of blown away by how well this thing works. I really thought it was more like for video games and fun things like that, but it's actually really good for these business use cases. And one more thing on this, I clicked on that mushroom coffee trend of 2024. I actually put an image in here. So it actually does image generation as well. This is a cool one that I didn't make, that I found on that top simulation section. And it's a business model canvas creator. So you could use this on a new business, but even existing business, if you're doing some business planning. I always find that part kind of hard. All you have to do is just put in here, you know, what type of business it is, and then just say generate canvas. Obviously the more details you put in there, the better, but even just a simple one like this, saying artisan pretzel company, it's gonna list out things like my, my key partners, so like flower suppliers, salt suppliers, packaging manufacturers. And just written point form, just give me all the key activities I gotta do, my, what my value proposition is gonna be for customers. So a lot of it will be fairly obvious, but some of it is actually very good. Like for example, I know some people who run lo local food businesses around me and tourists seeking local specialties is something that they sell a lot of product through that. So if you're just starting out, you might have to think of that kind of segment. So actually some really good stuff in here. And of course you can actually come in here and edit it yourself so you can make changes to it. And once you're happy with it, you can actually export as a PDF, which actually does work, but unfortunately it kind of puts them all on one line. So it's not that usable for that, but maybe you can keep prompting it and fix that too. But nonetheless, a really cool tool to check out here in WebSim. So make sure you check it out for yourself and just play around with it. You can create some really cool things. But the really important thing about WebSim is really what's behind the scenes. It's that Claude 3.5 Sonnet model that's creating all this code and giving you all this content. WebSim, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of others in the future, just kind of surface that underlying power. And we still have a long ways to go. In terms of the aesthetic of the websites it's building and the applications it's building, I'd probably give it maybe a three out of 10. They do have kind of that late 90s, early 2000s vibe to the websites. In terms of the content, it's really good. Probably a seven out of 10, I'd say. Which is why I'm really excited about the future. What things like, GPT-5 and, and Claude 3.5 Opus from Anthropic will bring. We're still in the early days and I think once the aesthetics and, and that kind of thing come up to the same levels of the content, 
you can be able to make some really powerful applications really quickly. So make sure you subscribe for all the latest in AI for business. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.